Have you ever wondered what makes the Irish so unique? It's more than just their famous charm or love for a good pint of Guinness. There's something deeper, something genetic that sets them apart. Picture this, an entire history of ancient migrations, Celtic traditions, and a little bit of Viking influence, all wrapped up in one fascinating DNA profile. But what exactly makes Irish DNA so special? Is it the fact that the Irish share genetic traits with some of Europe's oldest settlers, dating back thousands of years? Or is it the isolation of the Emerald Isle itself that helped preserve their distinct genetic heritage over centuries? The Irish DNA tells a story like no other, a tale of resilience, culture, and identity. And in this video, we're going to uncover what makes it so unique compared to the rest of the world. From their fair skin and freckles to their red and blonde hair, there's a lot to explore about the Irish genetic makeup. So if you're ready to dive into the science behind this genetic legacy, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get started. And hey, if you've got a favorite Irish tradition or fun fact you love, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Let's get you started. Chapter one, the Celtic influence on Irish DNA. Let's kick things off by taking a trip back in time, around 500 BC to be exact. This is when the Celts made their way to Ireland, marking the beginning of one of the most profound cultural and genetic influences on the island. But who exactly were the Celts and why do they play such a huge role in shaping the Irish people's DNA today? The Celts, a group of tribes who originated in Central Europe, began spreading across Western Europe. And by the time they reached Ireland, they were already a formidable force. Their arrival in Ireland was nothing short of transformative. It wasn't just a shift in culture, it was a genetic shift that laid the foundation for much of what we now consider Irish. What did the Celts bring with them? Well, let's start with their language, which evolved into what we now call the Irish Gaelic language. They also brought with them unique traditions, art and customs that are still celebrated in Ireland today. Think of the intricate Celtic knots, the famous cross and the connection to nature that runs deep in Irish culture. But their influence didn't stop at the surface level. It ran deep into the genetic fabric of the Irish people. Studies have shown that the Irish DNA still carries a distinct Celtic signature, one that's largely responsible for the light skin, red and blonde hair, and freckled faces often associated with the Irish. And the Celtic influence isn't just a matter of folklore. Genetic research backs it up. Modern Irish people share a significant percentage of their DNA with early European settlers who arrived during the Mesolithic period, thousands of years before the Celts came to Ireland. These early populations laid the groundwork for what would eventually become the Irish people with their deep-rooted connection to both the land and their ancestors. But the Celtic influence doesn't end with ancient history. It's important to note that the Celts didn't just pass through, they settled, intermingled, and became a part of the Irish genetic landscape. This helped create a relatively homogenous gene pool that has kept Irish DNA both distinct and recognisable to this day. The deeper you dig into the history of the Celts and their impact on Ireland, the more you realise that the connection between the two is undeniable. It's not just in the Irish language or their vibrant culture, it's in the very DNA of the people, and that's something worth celebrating. Chapter 2 geographic isolation and genetic purity. Let's step into the world of Ireland's geographical magic, a land surrounded by the wild Atlantic Ocean, standing proudly as an isolated island. Now you might think of isolation as a bad thing, but when it comes to Irish DNA, this geographical remoteness was actually a blessing in disguise. Ireland's island status played a huge role in preserving its genetic purity over thousands of years. Picture it, no massive migrations, no invasions from distant lands, just a small green island where the same people lived, loved and thrived for generations. While Europe saw waves of conquerors and settlers from the Vikings, Normans and others, Ireland was shielded by the sea, acting as a kind of genetic fortress. This isolation made it incredibly difficult for large outside populations to mix in and dilute the existing gene pool. So what does that mean for the Irish? It means that the genetic traits of the original settlers especially the Celtic people, remained dominant for centuries. In simpler terms, Ireland became a living snapshot of its ancient past, without much interference from other nations or cultures. 
As a result, certain features that are now considered iconic for the Irish began to take shape. Think of the pale, freckled skin, the striking red and blonde hair, and those fair complexions. These traits, often associated with Ireland, can be traced back to the isolated and consistent genetic makeup over generations. The Irish were able to keep these features through a process of genetic purity, which in turn became a signature of their national identity. In fact, Ireland's isolation helped preserve these traits in ways that other European populations couldn't. While neighbouring countries underwent significant genetic mixing through conquests and trade, the Irish people maintained a relatively homogenous gene pool. And that's how those fair, freckled faces became so closely linked with Irish identity. Think of it this way. Ireland's isolation didn't just preserve its culture. It helped to nurture a very specific set of genetic features that have been passed down through generations. It's one of the many reasons why Irish DNA is so fascinating and why the people of Ireland are easily recognisable across the globe. Chapter 3. External Invasions and Genetic Impact Ireland's history, like many countries, has been shaped by invasions, each leaving its own mark on the island. But the fascinating thing about Ireland is how these external influences, from the Vikings to the Normans, didn't wash away the island's deeply rooted Celtic identity. Instead, these invaders added their own flavour to the mix without ever completely taking over. Let's start with the Vikings, the fierce seafaring warriors from Scandinavia who arrived in Ireland around the 8th century. Known for their raids and trading routes, the Vikings didn't just plunder, they also settled in parts of Ireland, creating small Norse communities in places like Dublin. Over time, some of their genetic material did integrate into the local population, but their impact was relatively minimal when compared to the earlier, dominant Celtic gene pool. While Viking influence left behind a few traces in the Irish genetic code, perhaps contributing to darker hair or a slightly different facial structure, the Celts remained the dominant genetic group. These Viking settlers, though significant in terms of culture and trade, didn't overwhelm the Irish gene pool. They might have changed Ireland's political and social landscape, but genetically, the island held tight to its Celtic heritage. Next came the Normans in the 12th century. The Normans, originally from France, arrived in Ireland during a time of political turmoil and took control of much of the island. Like the Vikings, they brought their language, culture and some genetic material, but their influence also didn't overshadow the Celts. The Normans did establish strongholds and intermarried with the Irish over the centuries, leaving behind some genetic traces, particularly in the areas they controlled. But again, the Celtic genes were far from being replaced. So what does this all mean for Irish DNA? Despite the external invasions, the Celtic roots were never truly uprooted. In fact, these invasions were more like ripples in an ocean of Celtic heritage, brief disturbances that added a few new elements to the mix, but ultimately didn't shift the core genetic makeup of the Irish people. Today, modern genetic studies reveal that while the Vikings and Normans left their mark, the Irish remain largely Celtic in their genetic composition. It's as if these invasions were absorbed, integrated into the broader Irish identity, but never succeeded in overshadowing the foundation laid by the Celts centuries earlier. Chapter 4. The Genetic Homogeneity of the Irish When you look at Ireland today, it's not just its stunning landscapes or vibrant culture that makes it unique. It's the remarkable genetic consistency that has shaped the Irish people over millennia. In a world where migration, wars and conquests have constantly mixed and mingled populations, Ireland stands out for its surprising genetic homogeneity. But what exactly does that mean? And how does it set the Irish apart from their European neighbours? To understand this, let's first take a step back and talk about what genetic homogeneity really is. In simple terms, it means that a population's genetic makeup is relatively consistent and stable over time. While every person is unique in their DNA, the Irish as a whole share a more unified genetic profile than many other countries. This is largely because, over thousands of years, Ireland's island status has acted as a protective barrier, limiting the flow of outside influences. The geographic isolation allowed the Celtic gene pool to remain more or less uninterrupted, resulting in a population that is genetically more consistent than those in mainland Europe. When you compare this to other countries, especially those with a long history of migration, conquest and trade, Ireland's genetic makeup stands in stark contrast. 
Take, for example, the UK or France, two neighbouring countries that have seen waves of migration, colonisation and invasion. From the Anglo-Saxons and Romans to the Vikings and Normans, the genetic landscape of these countries has been a melting pot of different populations. In places like these, genetic diversity is much higher because the gene pool has been constantly refreshed and influenced by outside groups. Contrast this with Ireland, where the flow of new genetic material was limited for centuries. Sure, there were some invasions, Vikings, Normans, etc. But these were relatively small in scale and didn't lead to the same kind of large-scale genetic mixing that happened in other European countries. As a result, Irish DNA has remained more consistent over the centuries, with the dominant Celtic genetic markers holding strong. This genetic homogeneity is not just a fascinating historical detail, it also shapes how the Irish are perceived today. When you think of Irish physical traits, pale skin, freckles, red hair, and light eyes, it's clear that these features, common among the Irish, are a reflection of this genetic consistency. The Irish gene pool has preserved these traits more than other populations, making them an iconic part of their identity. Chapter 5. Irish DNA. Today, a living legacy. Imagine walking through the streets of Dublin or the rolling hills of the Irish countryside and seeing the faces of the people around you, many with striking red hair, freckled skin and pale complexions. These physical traits are more than just iconic features. They're a direct link to a long and storied history embedded in the very DNA of the Irish people. Thanks to modern genetic studies, we now know that Irish DNA is not just a relic of the past. It's a living legacy that continues to shape the identity of Ireland today. In recent years, scientists have taken massive strides in unravelling the genetic history of the Irish population, and what they have uncovered is truly fascinating. Through advancements in DNA testing and large-scale genetic studies, researchers have confirmed that the Irish gene pool remains remarkably consistent with ancient European populations, particularly those who lived on the island long before recorded history. One of the most groundbreaking findings is the significant connection between modern Irish DNA and the Mesolithic settlers, people who lived in Ireland over 7,000 years ago. This means that, despite all the invasions, migrations and changes over the centuries, much of the DNA of the ancient Irish remains intact today. What's even more incredible is how these genetic markers have remained strong despite the challenges Ireland has faced throughout its history. From Viking invasions to English colonisation, the Irish people have endured more than their fair share of upheaval. Yet through it all, they've managed to preserve not just their culture, but also their unique genetic identity. Modern DNA studies highlight this resilience, showing that, even with external influences, the Celtic genetic signature still dominates in the Irish population. This genetic continuity isn't just a matter of physical traits, it's deeply intertwined with Irish culture. The same people who have carried these genes over generations are the ones who have kept Ireland's rich traditions alive, its music, dance, literature, and of course, its unique sense of identity. Irish DNA is a living testament to the country's endurance and adaptability. It tells the story of a people who have held on to their roots despite centuries of foreign influence and adversity. As we look at Irish DNA today, it's clear that it's not just a biological inheritance, it's a cultural one too. The connection between culture and genetics in Ireland is powerful. It shows how deeply interwoven the past and present are. Every strand of Irish DNA tells a story of resilience, of a people who have managed to hold on to their identity through thick and thin, making it a vital part of the global heritage today. As we wrap up our journey through the fascinating world of Irish DNA, it's clear that the genetic makeup of the Irish people is unlike any other. From the early Celtic settlers who shaped the foundations of Ireland's genetic identity, to the island's geographic isolation, which preserved these traits over centuries, Irish DNA is a living testament to the resilience and continuity of its people. Even external invasions like those of the Vikings and Normans couldn't dilute the Celtic roots that continue to thrive in the Irish population today. This genetic consistency has ensured that iconic features like red hair, pale skin and freckles remain a part of the Irish identity, offering a glimpse into the past with every individual. But Irish DNA isn't just about physical traits, it's about the culture, history and heritage 
that has been passed down through generations. It's in the music, the stories, the folklore, and the pride of being Irish. These elements are deeply woven into the fabric of the Irish people, creating a unique blend of biology and culture that remains strong to this day. Irish DNA is more than just a genetic marker. It's a badge of honour, a reflection of a people who have endured countless challenges and yet continue to celebrate their history, identity and legacy. Today, it's not just about where the Irish come from. It's about who they are and how their rich genetic and cultural heritage shapes the vibrant Ireland we know today. I'd love to hear your thoughts or questions about Irish DNA. Drop a comment below. And if you enjoyed learning about Ireland's fascinating genetic story, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos exploring the unique history and culture of this incredible island. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about the unique genetic legacy of the Irish. Don't forget to leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.